Hi, I've had a lot of questions on just basic channel mapping in the Lightbridge Assistant. Um, I think a lot of people overthink this step. It's really whatever you have programmed in the radio, we just have to make sure that corresponds with a map channel and the assistant. I'm not going to get into radio programming or the A2 side of things because uh, it's pretty much the same. If You, you need basic radio programming uh, in this hobby, and if you don't have that, I suggest you watch a few uh, ra uh, videos on your radio or read the, the manual. Um, right now, this is what you would see um, uh, in the channel lineup uh, or mapping window in the light bridge. Uh, this is a, a configured uh, model. Uh, it's S my S900 uh, light bridge runner, so all it pretty much has is uh, tilt as an extra function for controlling the H3 3D. Um, so. This is it. Uh, you pretty much start moving uh, your channel assignments around. Make sure all your control surfaces are correct. Um, this is a Futaba radio, so channels, uh, your channels 1 through 7 should technically be already set. Uh, spectrum, I believe Spectrum and uh, the throttle and uh, aileron are reversed or vice versa. Uh, maybe it's elevator. But um, let's just say that's the case. Uh, if throttle, if... if, if uh, uh, elevator or aileron, let's just say aileron was moving throttle, you would just reverse, you know, one and three. You just select it, and uh, three would become your aileron channel, and, you know, we'd be good to go. So I'm going to put that back to one. Um, now we're at the standard Futaba configuration. Uh, let's just go ahead and make sure they're all moving. Okay, they are. So um, let's make sure, you know, I have my my uh, uh, IOC on channel 6, my gear on 5, uh, my U channel is on 7. Uh, now 8 would be, you know, whatever 8 is, but uh, I have it configured as my return to home. So I just want to make sure 8's here. Um, it is, uh, and I'm going to select it just to make sure you don't have to do that. I'm just using this as an example. Now here we are on tilt. Uh, tilt's one that won't be default map because it's out of the one through eight spectrum. So um, on my radio here, I'm moving. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm moving uh, my tilt uh, right right uh, uh, slider on my Futaba 14SG. And uh, as you can see, it's not moving anything. And I think this is the part that really confuses people because you're seeing the gimbal up there, 5D, and then you're seeing, you know, your black magic and your GH3. This does not matter if you're not using, if you're, yeah, if you're not using an HD gimbal. Uh, the HD gimbal, uh, it's nice, um, but in this example, we're not using one. Probably 50% of the users are not going to be using one, so I thought this would be a good example. So here's tilt. We can go ahead. These really don't matter. All we care about now is this, uh, a function to a map channel. Because once we're out of this assistant, it doesn't matter if we made mode uh, roll on, let's say, an aftermarket gimbal. Um, it really does not matter as long as the correct channel's mapped. And then we can go ahead and uh, use the, the A2 to do the uh, the correct mapping over there. So right now we're going to just use tilt. I, all I care is care about is tilt on my H3 3D, only function I can use. So here we are in the map channels. I'm going to move the right slider. You see how it's barely moving, but it is still moving? So, okay, it's channel 9. Didn't even really have to know what it was in my radio. So I'm going to hit select. And now our tilt selected there, and we can actually see it move. So we know it's mapped. Um, once you have all your map channels uh, uh, configured, we're going to calibrate. So here we are. It kind of looks like your mapping uh, window with all your sliders. And what we're going to do, we're on the main, since this is a secondary or a, a single operator setup, we're going to just use the main RC. We're going to calibrate. It's going to tell you release both sticks and then click next button. I like to center all my sticks, including throttle. Uh, I don't know if it's required, just something I do. 
And then now, slowly move one stick at a time. You could probably do two, but I just, I take my time. I just, I'm moving my left stick right now. I'm going to recenter that one. And now I'm moving my right stick. Now what you want to do is flick or toggle every switch that you have mapped or any desired function that you want uh, that's already mapped. So uh, those ranges get calibrated as well. So here's eight. That's my return to home. And one more channel nine for my tilt. So we're going to hit finish and we're going to close. Now you're going to see everything, you know, you have your, your, your sliders in the green except throttle, but when you bring that to the midpoint, it should be green as well. Um, you got your gear channel, IOC full uh, throws, uh, the U channels full throws. Uh, my return to home is uh, full throws, and now my tilt should be. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I know it was just basic uh, overview of channel mapping, but it really isn't any harder than that. Um, now the one thing I will warn uh, in the A2, channel mapping will be the same, but let's say that channel 9 that I had for tilt, it's channel 9 light bridge and channel 9 in my radio. But uh, anything over channel 1 through 8 in light bridge, it's going to transfer to something differently over D buses because this is a single operator setup. So um, it's single operator setup, but I believe in the light bridge set, uh, software, it's kind of, it still transmits as a dual operator setup. It's just uh, my radio is, is pushing those channels. So I believe channel 9 will be uh, 14 if I if I'm I could be mistaken on that but I believe that's what it is but you just go ahead and you open up your your a2 channel mapping window and you move that slider and you're gonna see what channel uh, to select so if you see 14 or another channel moving not 9 don't panic that is uh, that is a hundred percent correct on a single operator setup and uh, you, you don't think you have something wrong okay um, Please make sure um, all channels are are moving correctly. So let's say aileron, I, or left is left, right is right. Okay, elevator, that is backward. At least on a Futaba, I'm pulling back on the stick, and it's moving right. Uh, when you pull back on the stick, it should be moving left. Um, throttle, uh, same thing. Throttle needs to be reversed. So same, it would just be the same thing as verifying channel uh, directions if you weren't using light bridge. So just uh, once you get beyond this step, just think of it as you're running a, 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 a standard setup, a standard radio setup, and take light bridge out of the equation once you're in the A2. Now, if you uh, were running an HD setup, it is a little different. Uh, it's actually easier because um, uh, you don't have to worry about any of the F1 outputs. You know, you only get you get four technically on the A2, but if you're running the S900, S1000, or another uh, copter with retracts, you're going to use F1 uh, uh, just for landing gear. So you burn one. So you only have three available outputs. Uh, uh, a standard analog or digital output uh, through the A2. Now you uh, could go ahead and uh, get into tricky territory where uh, you could use a decoder and that type of thing, but then you're on your own uh, and you shouldn't really be doing that stuff unless you're an advanced user anyways. Uh, but the a HD gimbal is cool because it does everything over can, can bus. Uh, this would be, um, I guess the H3 3D does do tilt over CAN bus. Um, so all you would do in the A2 assistant, you would map tilt, uh, channel 14, I believe it is, um, to uh, the H3 2D tilt uh, in the mapping software because sorry has a built-in uh, uh, mapping for that. Uh, but if you were using, uh, let's say, one of the outputs, you would just map that corresponding channel to the uh, uh, F uh, output, or I think it's a D output in the, in the software, um, and then you're good to go. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, post them. Um, if I start rambling, I'm sorry. Uh, trying to do my best here. See you guys.